Welcome to The Attendant by Poolside Tech. In this video, we will introduce you to installer mode, show you how to configure some common options for your pool, and show you how to configure a flow using our Visual Flow Editor. Let's dive in. To enter installer mode, use the hamburger menu, tap maintenance, and then tap installer mode. You will be prompted to configure your choice with a warning. Please read the warning and confirm you understand that you're entering configuration mode for your pool. Changing configuration options for your pool or devices can cause equipment damage or undesirable consequences, so let's be careful when poking around in there. On the site tab, you have access to add, remove, and modify bodies of water and water features, as well as configure general settings for ambient sensors and freeze protection. Let's take a look at the options available to us on a body of water. The settings for the body of water allow you to configure things like pool size, chemistry targets, operating temperature range, and pool water turnover rate for filtering. This is a fancy way of saying that you want to run your pump long enough to filter all the water in your pool this number of times a day using the auto filter feature. With water features, you can set the icon that appears on the main screen, as well as the operable speed range for that feature. Setting the min and max values for a water feature is useful in cases where you end up watering your lawn if the settings are too high or too low. Under the general heading, you can modify which temperature sensors are used to capture ambient air temperature and solar panel temperature as well as configure some of the basic settings associated with freeze protection. On the Devices tab, you have access to add, remove, configure, and troubleshoot all devices currently set up for the pool system. If the attendant detects an issue with a device, it will add a red badge to the device in the list, indicating that user action is needed. If there is a configuration issue, for example, a device was created in the system that is not being used, then a yellow badge will be created to warn you about it. From this tab, you can also turn individual devices on or off in order to troubleshoot their installation and settings. For example, here I am configuring the minimum and maximum RPM that I want my pump to operate at. Saving this, I can now test this device by powering it on and setting the speed up to 100%. On the Flows tab, you can review, add, and modify existing water flows in your system. The Visual Flow Designer is our unique patent-pending editor that allows you to specify how water flows through the devices in your pool. Using this feature, you can quickly configure your system by simply looking at the devices on the pool pad and replicating what you see into the flow editor one device at a time. New flows can be set up by simply tapping the Add Flow button. From here, you can choose an existing pump or specify a new one and adding devices in line. Here, we're going to add a new flow that simulates adding a new laminar feature to our pool. When you're done creating a new flow, tap the Save button to save it to the local app configuration and tap Save again to store it in the cloud to be downloaded to the local pool device. When leaving installer mode, you'll be prompted to confirm your choice using the slider on the screen and you'll be notified if there are any unsaved changes. Thanks for joining me for a quick overview of the features available in installer mode on the attendant. Have a great day.